Hello, America. This is Pastor Larry. I want to give you some insight on the spiritual warfare we fight today. The Apostle Paul wrote to the Ephesian church in Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 13. He said, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil or his schemes and trickery. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that may be able to withstand in the evil day. And, tr and we are truly living in an evil day when a demon-possessed man can walk into an elementary school and kill innocent little children without resistance. But what is just as evil and wicked are the politicians who would use such a tragedy to attack the constitutional rights of law-abiding Americans to try and strip them of their God-given rights to protect themselves from the same criminals that commit these types of crimes in high places. Don't be fooled and don't be deceived. Devils possess people in high positions of power just as easily as they would possess a street-level criminal. Politicians who are blaming guns instead of the mentally insane for such a heinous crime do not care about your child's education or safety. All they care about is power, money, votes. They will exploit your emotions every opportunity they get. I'll prove this to you. What have these lifelong politicians done to improve your child's education? safety in the last 60 years? What has President Joe Biden done in the last 50 plus years of his political career to make life better and safer for the common man and his children? Zero. Nada. Nothing. These same politicians clamoring for the destruction of the Second Amendment send their children to private schools with private security while they surround their, their homes with fences, walls, and armed security guards. Instead of blaming themselves for their failures, they blame guns and your constitutional right to own them. Both rhinos and Democrats are to blame for these tragedies, but especially Democrats who have proven themselves to be the anti-freedom party over and over again. Remember, all these politicians took an oath to defend and protect the Constitution of the United States of America. So why do these same democratic politicians constantly want to attack our first and our second amendment rights? I'll tell you why. Because they know in their evil heart if they can destroy the second amendment, you'll have no first amendment. You'll have no voice. You'll have no freedom of religion. You'll have no freedom of the press, the challenge of the corruption. You will have no resistance. Think about what the Democratic Party has just recently done in the last two years. The Democratic Party under Joe Biden left over $70 billion worth of military hardware for the terrorists and Chinese in Afghanistan. They do not care about your children. The Democrat Party with the rhinos just gave $40 billion to the war machine in Ukraine. May I remind you, Innocent children die in war just as easily as soldiers. They do not care about your children. The Democrat Party has no problem murdering and butchering millions of unborn children in the womb of their mothers every year. They do not care about your children. The Democratic Party has been the voice of defunding the police for the past two years. They do not care about your children. Democratic leftist communists have been in control of our educational system for the past 60 years. We spend more money on education than any country except Luxembourg, but we rank number 22 in the world for our education in math, science, and reading. They do not care about your children. In the last two years, it's been the Democratic Party working with big tech corporate news media to censor, silence, and deplatform and any and all opposing voices to the COVID 
pandemic and all of its draconian policies and lies. It was an all out frontal attack on the freedom of speech, the freedom of religion, and the freedom of the press during the pandemic. It was the Democrat party in cahoots with the corporate media who covered up the corruption of the Biden crime family prior to the 2020 election. Our federal government has become the most corrupt government at any time in our history as a nation. Just look how corrupt our justice system has become in this country. For instance, Democrat, Democratic Secretary Hillary Clinton was not prosecuted for her high crimes and misdemeanors when she had an unauthorized, unsecured, private server with government classified information on it, which her minions tried to destroy when they were caught. The Democratic controlled CIA and FBI were both willing to foster the Russian collusion hoax against tre President Trump, which cost him the midterm elections and possibly the 2020 re-election. The Democratic controlled FBI was involved with instigating, recruiting, and coordinating a plot to kidnap Governor Whitmer of Michigan. They also hid and lost Hunter Biden's laptop, and it's most likely they were involved in the January 6th riot, but our elected officials are being denied access to information available under the Democratic House Speaker Pelosi. Then there is the recent Democratic DOJ memo on declaring and investigating parents as domestic terrorists for being concerned and taking an active role in their child's education. And the list could go on and on, all the way back to the assassination of JFK. We are truly living in dark and corrupt times. Listen, the Second Amendment is not about hunting or even about personal self-defense. It's about the right of the people to resist governmental tyranny and corruption. Just research and read what the Founding Fathers had to say about our right to bear arms. The American people allow the political oligarchy to destroy our Second Amendment rights. We will deserve the chains of slavery they will place on our backs. The sun is now setting on America, and all that is required for evil to be triumphant is for good men and women to do nothing. So please hear me. Please hear me. We are in a fight for our freedom. This has been Pastor Larry. I'm just a voice in the wilderness. May God help us.